Welcome back to talk to me with the coach, Mike Reed Maiden, as we're on the road once again, taking youngsters behind the scene with baseball, 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 and we got the newest member of the Chicago White Sox, Vince Coleman. Uh, thank you very much. Pleasure to have me be here in Chicago and pleasure to be on your show here. Well, we got to introduce our Chicago audience to the man here. Well, I'm here and live and ready to go out and display what I do best. Well, you know, you're the new base running coach, so tell us what that entails. Well, it's trying to get, give guys knowledge and understand once you get knowledge, it builds your confidence. And when you play with confidence, you play fast. And when you play fast, you kick ass. <laughs> I like that. I'm about to steal that line. <laughs> so that means you're going to have to have some conversation with the scouting department to go out and get some young bo bucks out there now. Well, we just need some athletes. Uh, that's what it takes to live. go down to the inner cities and go get some guys that, you know, don't want to have the patience, that want to have the patience into uh, the going through the minor league system. I think this day and age, more the minorities, they want the instant success. They want to go straight to the NFL or they want to go straight to the NBA. They don't want to have that patience. But longevity-wise, baseball is a career to go. Uh, and especially we know that everything is guaranteed when you, <laughs> when you sign that dotted line. So, uh, you know, for me, I played 15 years. I got a chance to meet a lot of people, travel over a lot of cities, and, and enjoy doing something I, I really love since I was a little kid. Well, let's talk about your major league career. You, you're a seasoned veteran out there. Well, you were, I it, should it, say. it was great. I mean, you know, coming up through St. Louis system, you know, we had uh, Ozzie Smith and Willie McGee and Terry Pendleton and Tommy Hurd, but we was led by Whitey Herzog. And, you know, Whitey was a guy that only asked for two things, to show up on time and give 110%. And it allowed you to play the game as though you played when I was in high school mm -hmm. and I was a kid in college. You know, I led the nation in stolen bases, you know, two straight years at Florida a and And once I got to the big leagues, you know, he gave me the, the, the green light. And, you know, I was able to convince him I knew what I was doing once I got on the base path. And, and as a result, you know, it's kind of trickled down through our whole team, you know, and it, and, and it kind of manifested. It became fun, and that became my trademark. Uh, Ricky Henderson and I had the same agent, so we had a little battle going on throughout our career. And, um, you know, so it was fun. It was a lot of fun, but for the most part, you know, I had a manager that allowed me to go out and play the game the way I did as a kid. And, you know, Wrigley Field was probably one of my best fields to play. But with that being said, that's because I was in the National League. But Chicago, I love Chicago yeah. being here in Chicago. So I'm glad to be back here in Chicago. You know, some would say back in that era where you played baseball, it was baseball. The game has changed a whole mm -hmm. lot today. Well, it's just knowledge of the game and understanding your um, – your, your ability, what you can do as a player to um, benefit from that. Mm -hmm. Meaning that if you're a guy with speed, you know how to, you got to bust, and you're a little man, you don't want to play a big man's game. You got to bunt. You know, you don't try to hit the ball at the ballpark. You have to shorten up your swing to put it in play. Uh, if you're a defensive player, you got to learn how to position the players right, mm -hmm. put yourself in a position to make a good throw and throwing the guys out of the plate. Uh, and if you're uh, base running, I think, is the most intricate part of the game because more games are won or lost on the base pass than a lot of fan, uh, fans realize. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a team that can go from first to third, go in balls in the dirt and score from second on base hits, mm -hmm. you win and take advantage of all the extra base hits whenever they're offered. You tend to win a lot more ball games than a lot of other teams do. And those are teams always that win the more ball games always win up in the championship. Yeah. So base running is one of the things that I put a lot of emphasis on because that's the way I was raised to play the game. That was my style of play. Um, you know, baseball is the only sport in the world that when you're on offense and you don't have the ball, you know, so you don't get on the bases and play defense. You know, so you got to think of it in that term. Every time I get on base, I'm trying to go 90 feet, mm -hmm. figuring, got to anticipate every pitch to be in the dirt and focus and react. You know, mm -hmm. it's all about anticipation and reaction. You know, I would tell kids, you know, there's no substitute for speed. And you always want to put pressure on the defense. And when the defense got to worry about you in motion, that's psychological. That puts a lot of pressure on them. Well, when I came to the ballpark, you worried about me. You know? <laughs> and, and that's the way I liked it. And, you know, and, and, and when I came to bat, the catcher would ask me, how you doing? I said, oh, you heard of me. That's because I had a reputation. So I never came to the ballpark worrying about the opposition, the pitcher, what his, how his release point, or what was his time to the plate, or what the catcher. Throw the, what was his throw down to second base. That's, you know, why. I, why, why I focus on what Vince Coleman had to do by getting a lead and getting a jump and going. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what you try to implement 
day in and day out on these players on how important it is to fight for that lead, mm -hmm. how important it is to get a good jump. Mm -hmm. And if you concentrate on your <clears throat> stance, your balances, and being your keys of what you need to do on the balls of your feet, then you're going to be successful. So how do you translate to these younger guys today about getting mentally prepared for the game? Well, you know, I, <laughs> I was a mischievous kid, you know, so <laughs> giving me a little bit of information, I made a coach look really good. You know, I, I, I wasn't the guy that was insecure. You mm -hmm. know, I was secure with myself. I was confident. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came on this field each and every day, if you cho told me one thing once, I went out and applied, and I wasn't scared to do it. I couldn't play timid. You got to have guys that, you know, that 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 they're not scared. They got to be adventurous. They got to be dynamic. They got to be daring. Mm -hmm. You know, they got to eliminate the fearness yeah. you know so the fear is the factor that you got to eliminate and try to give them the knowledge and understand that you're the best guy out here mm -hmm. could they stop Michael Jordan when they was guarding him one-on-one -on -one? no mm -hmm. you know and he believed that the whole world believed that and it's for you to convince yourself of that once you got here on this field so who did you pattern yourself at who was your mentors well I came up in the era where you know Hank Aaron, my hero, you know, from being you know, Atlanta Braves down in the South, you know, watching Atlanta Braves playing, watching Dusty Baker, you know, um, Ralph Gar, you know, so uh, I played football too, you know, so Bob Hayes came out of my neighborhood. So, you know, it's a, a calculation of, of, of guys that everything that whatever season it was, whether it was football, whether it was basketball, whether it was baseball, I went out and watched and played that game day in and day out. And I tried to implement that into myself, you know, mm -hmm. so that's what made me the player I was. So you're trying to make more audience think you was an athlete, huh? Well, I was an All-American <laughs> football player at Florida A&M. Okay, you tried to brag. No, now, you know, so, brag, you know, I played football and baseball for four years there, you know, so uh, I probably could have chosen any profession and been okay. successful. <laughs> but Coach going to let you get back to work for both of us get to trouble, but we're going to get you again down the road. All right, thank you. Appreciate Coach, it. Thanks for having me. Coach, introduce you all to the man here, Vince Coleman. All right. Appreciate okay, it. <laughs> a lot of fun. Well, the coach just finished this great interview with Vince Coleman. You never know who's going to be on the show, so stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in and catch the coach. Talk to me with the coach, Mike Remaden, and Primetime, back together.